In this tutorial, we'll look at using the marking menus and the customizable shells. And we're looking at them together because we use similar techniques to set them up. So I'll start by looking at the shelves. And there's one shelf over here in the control panel. And you may have already looked at this as it has a few tools and a couple of tabs. So here, for example, you have the information window. And that's just a copy of the Windows Information Information Window tool. And these shelves are populated by dragging a tool with a middle mouse button onto the shelf. So now there's a copy of that tool on the shelf. And I've got one already, so I can now use the middle mouse button again to just drag that one into the trash. So this area here is for you to customise with the tools you want to use. So you can take a look at the tools Alias has suggested for you here. Or you might decide that what you want to do is take off the tools that you haven't used yet to make space for your own choices as you start to learn the new tools. So that's what I'm going to do, just to show you how you might use the shelves. But it's entirely up to you. The whole point of the shelves is that you can customise them how you want. And I'll delete this learning tool shelf as well. So now I have a clean shelf area ready for me to start customising it. So I use the object lister a lot, so I may want to drag that onto the shelf with my middle mouse button. Now, if I want those changes to be there next time I open Alias, then I need to go to Preferences, User Preferences, and say Save. And then those tools will be there next time I open Alias. And the reason for showing you the shelf first is that we use a similar mechanism for the marking menus. And if you try your marking menus now, you'll probably have the default ones, which are similar to my simpler ones in that we have Pick Nothing, Pick Object, Pick CV but they've got more tools on them. So they give you an idea of how you could set up your own marking menus. And the default middle mouse button has move, rotate, scale, and non-p scale, which is just down here. And the pivot tools are also on this second mouse button. And then the third has all sorts of tools, including the CVs on and the CVs off. To set up the marking menus, then go to Preferences, Interface, Marking Menus. And that opens a set of shelves and you have a tab for the first, the second, and the third mouse buttons. And the tools that are being placed on these shelves appear on the marking menu in this order. But there are a lot of tools here, so if you prefer to use my reduced set, then I recommend that you first use the right mouse button on the title bar to save these defaults in case you want to go back to them. And it takes you into this slightly obscure system location. So I'm going to save these and just call them defaults. So now I can replace that shelf set. And I've put my reduced ones in our current project. So if you come down here and say, go to the current project, and just make sure that it's in Fundamentals 2. And then here I've given you some marking menus. And you'll want the SCM file. So just open that. And now if you check your marking menus, then you've got the reduced versions you saw me using in the previous tutorial. Now you can see that the defaults are on the menu now as a choice to switch to. So to add these new ones, I can save them into the default location and just call them simple, for example. And then at any time, I can switch between the simple and the defaults if I want to. But finally, I do need to say save the user preferences again to make sure this is all loaded up when I next come into Alias. Now you notice that I only have four tools in the north, south, east and west positions. And in the shelf I've got spaces to blank out the other locations. And these are available on Preferences, Interface, Shelf Extras. And that's just a shelf with some symbols. And we can drag them onto our shelf with the middle mouse button if we need them. Or just back into the trash if you don't. So if I now wanted to add a tool into one of these gaps, Let's say I wanted to add Pick Component. Then with the middle mouse button, I just drag it down and then choose the position and then let go. And then check where it's placed because it typically messes up the arrangement of tools. But that's because I needed to get rid of the spacer because the Pick Component has replaced it. And it's important to keep the main tools in the same positions as using them becomes very instinctive. 
And then finally, you can use the control and double click to be able to modify the text that appears in the marking menu. So you can use a different language or just a shortened name. So now I'll just save the changes to my simple marking menu. And I'll just give it the same name. And I'll also go back to the preferences and save the user preferences. So this default is loaded when I next open Alias. And all of this customization is optional. So if you prefer to continue just using the palette and the menu tools, that's fine. Otherwise, decide which version of the marking menus you want to use. And we'll practice using them in the next sections.